Previously on Total Drama Island, campers had to build their own Hot Wheels in a motocross challenge to race for invincibility. There were big winners and big time losers. And there was even some wicked off the track motocross stunts. But in the end, it was Heather who crossed the finish line and double crossed Lindsay by destroying her bike and their alliance. Proving Heather really is a backstabbing user who will do anything to win. Lindsay ultimately lost the race and the challenge, which meant goodbye to Lindsay and her luxury luggage. Who will be the next winner? Who will be the next loser? Who will renew my contract for next season? All these mind probing questions revealed on this episode of Total Drama Island. Mom and Dad, I'm doing fine. You guys are on my mind. You asked me what I wanted to be, and now I think the answer is plain to see. I wanna be famous. I wanna live close to the sun. Or pack your bags, cause I've already won. Everything to prove, nothing in my way. I'll get there one day. Psycho Killer Man's going for the car! Yo, fool couple! Stop making out outside the car! They're gonna be Chainsaw Sushi! <laughs> Great Canadian cheese! Now the car won't start! Oh, man. I hate scary movies. Run! Oh. The Psycho's gonna get ya! <gasps> Here comes the blood fest! So does Owen. Whew. I might have been glad that's over. I really hate scary movies. Oh, yeah? What scares you most? The uh, part where everyone meets a grisly death? Or the psycho killer with the <laughs> Dude! That was not cool! Aw, uh, come on, Deej. For a slasher flick, it was pretty tame. Yeah, there was hardly any hacking. Not like Bloodbath 2, Summer Camp Reign of Terror. No way. That's my favorite movie. I love when the killer jams that guy's hand into the lawnmower. <laughs> or when he pushes the chick off the dock and then she lands on a propeller blade that slices her in half. <laughs> or when, or when he, he shoves that big dude's, dude's head inside, inside the wood chipper. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, looks like Gwen and Duncan have more in common than bad fashion sense. It's just mindless guts and gore. Horror movies aren't mindless. Yeah, they're loaded with psychological trauma. <laughs> Look at DJ. <gasps> Whatever. Does anyone have any idea what our challenge will be this week? Yeah, where's the Chris Meister? Hey, yo, chef, <laughs> where's the fire? Huh? Escaped psycho killer on the loose. Be on the lookout for a man wearing a hockey mask with a hooked hand and carrying a chainsaw. <laughs> He's on the loose. Oh, come on. They don't expect us to fall for this. 
scary movie, followed by hasty exit, followed by strategically placed lame prop? I don't know. He looked pretty spooked. Please. It's all part of their little stunt to freak us out. If this was a stunt, would Chris leave behind his... hair gel? <gasps> Whoa. This is for real. So let me get this straight. Chris left us for dead, and now we're alone? While that escaped psycho killer with the chainsaw is on the loose? No. We're alone while that escaped psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook is on the loose! Ah! I told you, dude! Not funny! Ugh! Neath is your chicken little routine. Get a grip, bro. I can't help it. I feel like we're being watched. Duh, it's a reality show. We're always being watched. <laughs> Heather's right. And tonight, we're watching to see who can survive a real-life scary movie with special guest appearance by... The escaped psycho killer with the chainsaw and a hook! Okay, look, it doesn't matter whether this is real or a challenge. We need a game plan. Yeah, yeah, we need a game plan. You little fright wigs might need a game plan, but I need a facial. Are you crazy? First row of slasher films never go off alone. I might actually listen to you if I were in a movie. We're being punked. You're so gullible. Hey, Chris, if you're listening, next time rent one that takes place at a summer camp. I tried, but they were all rented. If you losers want to hang around and play boogeyman, go ahead. But I have got a date with exfoliation. And the bossy mean chick seals her fate. Wow, you're really good at sound effects. I say we go back to camp and talk strategy. Who's in? How Owen won the hot dog a thon. Owen ate 200 dogs. <laughs> well, 198 actually. The judges wouldn't count the last two since he squirted back up Owen's nose. <laughs> Wicked! Izzy's impressed. Hey, where are we going? Izzy's walking in the woods. Oh, cool. The woods. <sighs> the woods. Why does that feel wrong? Okay, rule number one, do not go off on your own. Rule number two, if you do go off on your own, never go in the woods. Rule number three, if you do go in the woods, never, ever, ever make out in the woods, or you will die in the woods. Where's Izzy and Owen? Breaking rules one through three. <laughs> Does this feel wrong to you? No, your head's good and hollow, so it's got a great beat. And all your yakking is keeping my mind off the escaped psycho killer with the chainsaw and a hook! Great balls of fire! That's it! The psycho killer! Remember how we left the woods to hack apart the couple who were making out? But we're not making out. Oh. Yeah. You want to make out? Yes! Oh! and flatter than how we got here. That's because horror movies extend the running scenes. <laughs> really? Why? It gives them time to film a good wipeout. Oh! Ow! Hey! to die. Here, take Izzy. Dude, dude, there's a guy with a hockey mask and a 
chainsaw and a hook, and he's after us, and... Yeah! Yeah, right there! He's right! Ah! We're totally dead! Owen, stop screaming! It's Chef! Oh, cool! <laughs> Great costume! Wow, you totally got me. You did. I was freaked out. You punked us? Yes and no. It was your challenge to watch a scary movie, then survive one. <laughs> Did you hear that? He was bunking us! It was a joke! <laughs> Too funny! Oh, I was all, ah! And then you were all, yee! Oh, for the love of Peter Pumpkin Eater, that was some fun going on! <laughs> Am I right? Oh. You're still on the part where Owen shoved Izzy into the killer? The good news is you're safe. The bad news is you lost the challenge, but now you get to watch our fake psycho terrorize the rest of the campers. <laughs> Fun, huh? <laughs> yes! Totally awesome TV viewing! Owen's not getting to second base, is he? First base? Didn't think so. Is he getting up to bat? Great work, Chef. But next time, try to really work the hook hand angle a bit more. Okay, now that I've drawn a chart of all the players, we can... Where's TJ and Jeff? Uh, DJ had to take a leak, so he took Party Boy with him. Okay, no matter what, you do not leave. Not if you hear a psycho, not if you see a psycho. Not if a psycho is slashing you to bits. Dude, no worries, I got your back. Cue the ice cream truck. Ice cream? No way! Hello? <gasps> DJ, it's me! Heather! Dude, you're safe! I am? <sighs> it's just Chef! <gasps> he was gonna scare the bejeebers out of you, but apparently Heather beat him to it. Bro, did you see her face? That was some serious ugly going on. True, but you still bailed before Chef even got a crack at you. Speaking of which, you're up, Psycho Man. Are you okay? I heard screaming. I'm fine, but you might want to check on DJ. He ran out of here like he saw a ghost. Can I have my shower in peace, please? Ooh, I wouldn't do that if I... Fine, suit yourself. By the way, that's a great look on you. Hello, I'm in the shower. Very funny, Duncan. Now get lost. Maybe if you paid attention to the scary movies, you'd know that A, you never go off alone, and B, you certainly never shower alone. Where's Lashana? She went to get some chow. Doesn't anyone listen to me? Now that's what I'm talking about. Lashana, Lashana, Lashana. Brownies, brownies. Lashana, Lashana, Lashana.
did not see that coming. No way. Mm. And challenging the killer? What were you thinking? But you score major points for scooping up these delicious munchies. Chris, can I just leave for five minutes? This mask is chafing. Yeah, yeah, let her leave. Sorry, we gotta wait till everyone's slashed. And it looks like our buddy Jeff is up next. Turn around! He's right behind you! Hey, dude, you seen an ice cream truck? By far, the worst blunder yet. Not to mention bailing on me. Don't you know you never leave a brother when he's taking a leak? Okay, even I know that doesn't sound right. Where's Jeff? Probably bit it with DJ. Well, it's no surprise. Rule number eight, the party guy is a prime target for psycho killers right after the big lovable jock. <laughs> now she tells me. You know what really ticks me off? That I was trying to help them. Live and learn, sweetheart. You really are a pyro, aren't you? So? I like burning stuff. Is that what you went to juvie for? <laughs> like I tell you why I went to juvie. Oh man! I'll get water. And then there was one. Juvie, juvie, juvie. You and me, psycho. Duncan? Duncan! Oh! Okay, you know what? I'm getting a sandwich! Mother of Pearl! He's going to face off with the escaped psycho killer with the chainsaw and a hook! When you got an all-out prize fight, you wait until the fight is over. One guy's left standing, and that's how you know who won. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Come and get it, goalie boy. Out of stuff to throw. No! Thought you could scare me? Ha! Now let's see who's behind the mask. I wasn't born yesterday, dude. Please, we watch a scary movie with an escaped psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook, and here you are running around. Someone lose this? Woohoo! Way to go, Duncan! Hey, Coolio. Gwen's taking on the psycho all by herself. Whoa! Wait a sec. If Chef's in here, then who's in the lodge with Gwen? Holy Lola! It's the real escaped psycho killer with the chainsaw and a hook! Ah! What? This could be really, really good for Radic. But really, really bad for lawsuits. Okay, I know actors without speaking parts don't get paid much, but seriously, dude, invest in a dental plan and some toothpaste. <laughs> oh. Hey, you want a sandwich before you impale me with your big scary hook? Okay. Look, you can drop the charade, okay? I know you're an actor with a hook prop, and frankly, you're not that scary. Ew, gross. How did they get it to go all scabby like that? He's the real escape What? Ow! Oh, that was totally uncalled for. Man, I am so out of here. I was treated way better in prison. Huh. 
<laughs> well, it's obvious to everyone that Gwen wins invincibility. And sadly, it's equally unanimous that DJ walked the dock of shame. Since he was the only one who screamed and bolted without the escape cycle killer even being there. But no hard feelings, dude. You will be missed. Ah, oh, group hug. <sighs> Bye, Bye, DJ. Toad, 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 drum, drum, drum. Island, island. Toad, 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 drum, drum, drum. Oh man, that really hurts. I think it's bleeding. Is it bleeding?